Welcome to Love to RP, European style. Well, just a European trip. Anyway, we're off to see the wizard. Uh, this is Mirtrisa, the statue. That's the name of our boat, so we're gonna get that. And this is the captain steering with the little joystick, uh, piling the ship through the river. This is a time lapse of us going through one of the river locks. We go down pretty steep. There's like four of us ships in this huge lock. There's a barge ship in front of us. There's actually two. And then there's one beside us also. So it's kind of, you go down like 30 feet. Pretty substantial. And you're right against that wall too. So and the gates open up and voila, we all zoom out. So that's one of the locks we experienced there was probably I think 10 of them we went through most of them at night we're sleeping so now we're out of, the, out of the locks and that's one of the barges that was next to us actually and just a beautiful it was a cool day cloudy we're heading to Salisbury area to Lynx uh, Oscar yeah. And just a nice oh, easy day cruise up the river. We are docked and we're getting ready to do our excursions. This is the upper deck where another ship was docked next to us. That's what they seem to do on the river cruise a lot. Ships are docked next to each other and other people walking across your deck to get to, to the main plaza here. There was our Buses heading out, heading out to the Salisbury area. This is a cat in a treehouse. <laughs> I guess he was waiting for lunch. In the town of Lynx here, it was the best apple strudel that I think we had the whole trip. Nice apples, pastries, and it always came with a cup of coffee. This was a bird's eye view, a map of Strasbourg, Austria. We were walking on it. And these young ladies part of our group, Nicole, Stacy. Debbie and Chris, they were doing the walking thing on the fountain from The Sound of Music. I never sing the whole thing, so that's what they were doing. This is the end of the pedestrian mall in Strasbourg. Of course, lots of shops, restaurants. If you look to your far right there, up on top, that's a McDonald's sign. And McDonald's right there in the pedestrian walkway also. That was a great little place. It started raining pretty good. You take these passageways from one pedestrian walkway to the other. Or to one plaza to the other. They're pretty long. And this is the plaza that had a lot of good pretzels. It was a farmer's market. And of course we had to have some pretzels. They were good. And the farmer market, beautiful fresh fruit and vegetables. And of course, there's some pastries as well, stuff there too. And some new cow, that was all decorated. Lemon trees, and just some. I was just curious about these fountains. And of course, you always get the locks on the fence. You're supposed to lock, lock the lock on the fence, throw the key over to cherish your love for everlasting. This is just happened to be an ambulance cruise down the street. People do go to the right and get out of its way. That was nice. The next day.
I did a uh, bicycle tour on the Washu Valley. It was a 20-mile ride. The bikes weren't bad. There was about 25 of us. We had a little picnic lunch also. This is like the midway point of a town. The train station goes through. This is where we actually had our lunch. And then nice, very panoramic views all around. This is the town of Dirksten. This is where we ended our bike ride. Beautiful vineyards around. These old castles on the hill. Me looking fancy. The river behind us. And that's just a beautiful hillside with vineyards, the town. Of course, churches. Some pictures right now, just all photo shots. Uh, this is the town of Dirksten. It had lots of bike trails and walking trails and history about the town. That is the name of the town. And the changes of the colors were kind of ready to change more or less. But just, I think I got like three or four of these same pictures, sorry. But there's still some beautiful views. Close-up views of a castle, an old castle that's been destroyed. The top of that church was blue, and the town across the way. More pictures of beautiful vineyards and the towns and the monuments. Just look really neat. Again, thank you for watching our adventures in Europe. Subscribe, like, and comment, and enjoy Love It Up South.